Ash Framework provides a tool called Calculations that lets us add versatile computed properties to our resources. Let's take a look. So the first kind of calculation we'll look at is one defined with useash.calculation. Here we define some data that needs to be selected, and then we define what the calculation actually looks like. So we take a list of users and we return a list of their computed full names. And once we have this, we'll be able to load this on demand after the fact. Then we will add the calculation to our resource. So first we will seed a user for us to work with. And you'll see they don't have their full name loaded automatically. That's something that we do after the fact using the load function. And there you go, full name is loaded. Next, we're gonna take a look at expression calculations. Expressions can be much simpler, but they're also a lot more flexible in that they can be executed in Elixir or in the database, which means that you can filter on these calculations or you can sort on these calculations and it will happen efficiently in the database. So we remove our old calculation. We're gonna add in a new calculation that uses the expert helper, which is short for expression. And you can see we can write essentially the same code. This supports a subset of Elixir. Uh, you can find out more about what it supports in the docs. And that's all that we need to run this in Elixir or in the database. So we'll get the user that we created before but this time we'll load their full name in the query. And you'll see that it's actually included in the SQL that we generated. We can also use this in filters and sorts. So here's an example of filtering where that calculated full name contains some string and running that query. You can see we put that calculation into the where clause of the database query. One of the most important things that you can do with calculations is that you can compose them. If you are using a module calculation, then you define what calculations you need in a callback in that module. But if you're using expression calculations, this happens automatically. So let's check it out. First, we'll add another simple calculation called of legal drinking age. And in this one, we're gonna show uh, true if the age is greater than 21. And then we're going to add a calculation to compose these two other calculations that we have. So if the user is of legal drinking age, then we will uh, display a different message here in this greeting calculation. And if they are not, then they will get a message to have a soda instead of have a drink. So if we load this calculation like we did before, we can see that it comes up in the database query and it composes the expressions for all of those calculations. There's a lot of calculation features that I wasn't able to touch on today, like how you might use aggregates or related data in your calculations. But I do hope that this was a good primer on what, what I think is one of the most powerful parts of ASH Framework. And if you wanna know more, you can check out the calculations guide on ASH HQ.